Let's talk a little bit about what you need in that machine. So the CPU, the brain of the machine, the Intel, the AMD, is really not that critical for hacking. It's it's important. You know, it does its, it does what it has to do <laughs> running your machine. But the speed of it is not that important. The, the faster those CPUs are, the more expensive they are. And it's an exponential curve, you know, the faster. So just to get a little bit more speed, you have to pay twice as much, right? But you can easily use a system that's just a few years old and not quite as fast and a lot cheaper and get just as much performance. And the CPU is really not that critical to most hacking applications except password cracking. CPUs are not ideal for password cracking, right? You're, you're much better off using, say, a GPU or using a GPU farm or using a cloud server, unless there's a really small, simple password. So, you know, even though the CPU is used for password cracking, say, in cracking Wi-Fi passwords or, or going ahead and trying to crack some hashes that you've gotten from another system. If it's a complex password at all, your CPU is just not an efficient way of doing it. So investing a lot of money in a CPU, okay, the fastest and best CPU is not a good investment. <laughs> it's not a good investment. A better investment is to take that money and use it to buy a, a GPU or rent a GPU or rent a cloud service that can really crank out hashes really, really fast. I seldom, if ever, use my CPU to crack passwords. And I also should point out that my go-to machine for penetration testing and hacking is probably four or five years old. It's not brand new. It's been around a while. I like it. I use it <laughs> every day. And so that kind of, I wanted to reemphasize that point that you don't need the latest and greatest.